Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Okay, it's time for another Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop because I thought it was about time I started doing videos again. Ah, what you looking at here? This is what I was going to use as the power supply for a microphone preamp. You may remember the microphone preamp with an automatic gain control on it. I did several videos back. Well, I was going to use this transformer to power it. I was going to put a 12 volt regulator on the end of that and have that powered. I thought this would give out about 15 volts, which is enough headway for that thing. But let's just take a reading of what voltage this actually gives out. Disappointing. Not even 11 volts. And I wanted to use that transformer. Ah, oh, it doesn't even spark. Well, I'm still going to use that transformer for the microphone preamp power supply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a voltage doubler. This is the circuit here. Actually, it's the wrong way around. There we go, got this idea from American 5 Radio, all American 5 Radio. Well, that's the circuit I'm going to build. So, first thing to do is get this transformer off this little bit of board here, then start making the circuit. Right, now let's take this thing apart. Nice little selection of parts now. There's the transformer, the circuit board, capacitor, and some diodes. Don't know what these actually are. Let's just take a closer look at this. This is a 1N4001, so I guess the others are going to be 1N4001s as well. That should be good enough. After all, it's always a good idea to salvage parts. Anyway, just going to need a couple of capacitors. And we can build the voltage doubler. So here's the parts I'm going to use. As you can see, same transformer. Only going to need to use a couple of diodes. And here are the capacitors. So I guess now it's time to wire those up in this configuration. And here we are, here is the finished product. Let's see if we've increased the voltage. Oh, it'd help if the meter was in the camera shot. Excuse me while I just wire this all up. Okay, make sure that's not going to short circuit on anything. Now let's just connect up the transformer. Let's connect the transformer up in that dangerous way that I usually do it. Hope my arms and my hands aren't getting in the way. The voltage we have, oh, it's gone off the scale. Well, there we go. We have 22.4 volts. So I've connected the meter up the wrong way around, but that doesn't really matter. So we can see that's working pretty good. A successful build. 
Well, here we are. Here is the completed supply. Got the voltage doubler connected up to a little 12 volt voltage regulator. Now I'm going to take a measurement. I'm probably, my head's, or something's probably getting in the way right now. While well, I just connect up this transformer. Okay, there we go. That seems to be working. Getting 12 point, just over 12 volts on the thing. This little voltage regulator uses a, um, I think LM7812 or something like that. You know, one of those simple regulator chips. That's giving me the kind of supply that I need. Slight drawback though, even though I've built this successful power supply to power that microphone preamp, I've lost the microphone preamp. Can you believe it? So I guess that's going to be for another video because my battery's running out, so I better go now. So until next time, goodbye.